G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard and I am a project engineer at Vigo Software. Welcome to the production controlling training video series level one. We're going to view the flow line forecast. The aim, in, the aim of this vignette is to show you how we adjust and read the flow line forecast, how we look at the different views, and how we can assess the different forecast alarms. From the control chart, and because we've now entered actuals, we can head to the flow line view in the left hand navigation bar. We're going to concentrate on the slab on grade. And remembering that we're still in control mode, we can now look at how our actual data can be modeled to trend future behavior of this schedule. Within this view set, we have some options. Using some of our flow line tools, we can begin to activate different view settings to understand production deviations in our schedule. The first view setting that I recommend is showing and hiding the actuals. By activating this function, we can see the introduction of the red data line. To the left of that data line is a series of dotted lines which represents the actuals completed for each of those tasks. What we're trying to assess based on the actuals dotted lines comparative to the planned target lines is the degree of the slope. We can now activate the forecasting tool. To the right of the data line, we have the flow line forecast. This is yet to happen, but is calculated based on the actual start and finish and percentage completes that we entered in the control chart. Based on our understanding of a quantity of work that has been prescribed with a start and finish date compared to the actual start and finish date, we can now trend the future behavior of that task. And because we have defined the logic dependencies between each of these tasks, we can see how production deviations can impact preceding trade activities. For example, we can see that this rebar slab on grade activity is pushing the relationship and causing a delay to the concrete slab on grade pour in the same location. One of our last view setting tools in relation to production alarms is the ability for us to use the disturbance or control alarm tool. You can see by activating the lightning bolt icon, we have introduced two red dots. These red dots indicate a problem in the overall production workflow for this schedule. If we double click on a disturbance or control alarm, we can now start to identify some of the problems, causes and responsible parties that are required to respond to each of these alarms. In this vignette, we've learned about switching to the flow line forecast. We've also learned about the different options that we can use to understand actuals and the forecast. We've also provided a quick introduction to forecast alarms. 